Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, I'm really happy. This week has been amazing. For everyone that did not have a PS5, this week has been really fruitful. We had two big drops. We had Argos drop and Game drop. Also, a lot of people managed to cop from these places. I'm really happy. Congrats to everyone, guys. Whoever managed to cop from these places, congrats. So guys, in today's video, what we'll do is we'll do a little recap of what happened this week. I was actually at these drops. I was doing live streams. So I have footage of these drops. I have the Argos drop when it went live. I have the footage from the game drop when it went live. So what I thought in today's video, guys, I'll share it with you, show you how it works. How do these drops work? Because all the time we're talking about these drops, but we never show you in reality how these drops actually work. How does a game drop work? What happens when you go in? How does it look? I just thought today I'd share this with you, show you what we went through in these past few days. And hopefully, 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 if you still haven't managed to cop a PS5, it can help you next time. Kind of anticipate what happens or what's going to happen when you get through that queue. Some tips I've learned going through it myself these past few days. So hopefully that'll be useful. Guys, I'll also be talking about the upcoming days. Okay, game and Argos are done. What's next? What's after? Because I've still got some messages on Instagram saying people are still looking for a PS5. Not everyone's copped, so I'll be telling you stores to watch out for next. Some places that you need to keep on your radar. And guys, before we get into the main part of the video, just wanted to make some quick announcements. So guys, we're doing a giveaway. This giveaway is available for everyone on our channel. Doesn't matter if you're a Patreon member or not. So guys, what we're giving away is a multifunctional cooling stand right here. If you put your PS5 vertical, this might be something that might be really useful to you. You can put your remote there. You can put your PS5. Then you also have space for some games as well on the side. The instructions on how to join this will be on my Instagram. The link to the Instagram is in the video description. I'll do the post instructions soon. So please watch out for that. Also guys, this Saturday at 9.30 p.m., we're doing a Battlefield 5 session that's open to all subscribers. Doesn't matter if you've join my Patreon or not. This is a one-off that we're doing and this will give the chance to all our subscribers on our channel to play with us. Battlefield 5 is a free game on the PlayStation Plus. So guys, if you'd like to take part, I'll post that on Instagram soon as well. If you could please, please tell me if you're willing to come on Saturday to take part. Are you going to be playing? And also let me know your PlayStation ID in the comments on Instagram. If you could put that there, then I'll know to add you and make sure you're already added to my channel and then I can just add you Battlefield 5. We can switch around the players because obviously there's only four spots when you play online multiplayer in Battlefield 5. And then everyone can get a shot to play with us. It'll be quite fun. It'll be nice to play with some of you that I've chatted to but haven't had a chance to play with. So fingers crossed guys, this Saturday 9.30pm, do come and join me. And guys, before we start the video, do remember to hit that juicy like and subscribe button and follow us on our Instagram, Patreon and Discord channels as well. Guys, welcome to the thrill and agony of PS5 drops. So with the game drop, we were there. We were on the bundles page. We were doing the usual refreshing the page, talking to people on Discord, and suddenly we heard this. As soon as we heard that, it was all go, we refreshed the bundle page, and as you'll see soon, we were in the game queue stat. Really happy about that, and the little man was back. Little man made a comeback, and I'll just show you how quickly we moved through. This is obviously not an accurate representation, I've cut the clip. So we slowly made our way through, Almost made it to the end, really happy, because in earlier drops we could never make it in. And we made it through, guys, and you'll notice we came to this one bundle page. Now, people were asking me, if you tried to get out of this one bundle page, would you get kicked out of the queue? And the answer is no. As you can see, I clicked on consoles. I went back and I could see all the bundle pages. Now, guys, the trick for game was, obviously, the more expensive bundles will sell out last. The t-shirt bundles sell out last. So, as I'll show you, I went to this bundle right here, more expensive one. Tried to add it to my basket and it went through. If I press secure checkout, I could have checked this game out right then, but obviously I was just doing it as a test. And then guys, another really good value bundle that people could have gotten was this one that I'll show you next. The Miles Morales and T-shirt bundle, it was 517. This one you could add to your basket, as you can see it's available. So that's the game drop in a nutshell, guys. It was awesome, great thing. I think a lot of people learned from this drop, I learned from this drop. And now let's move on to Argos next. Play four will be sold. So with Argos as well guys, we heard the alarm, there were regional drops so we heard loads of alarms actually. Uh, after this alarm we heard another alarm and that alarm is really bad. Oh god. Yes we heard this alarm as well guys and it was just mind scrambling that alarm. And what was happening guys was that Argos was dropping regionally in different cities, different areas at different times. As you can see it was go go go. Uh, stock at Argos was live, everyone was there shuffling around their apps trying to load the PS5 onto their apps and then everyone was just confused whether Argos was actually dropping, were people lying and then thankfully someone posted a picture on our discord, someone that managed to cop from Argos 
you'll be see the picture right here when I go to my Discord and go to the next clip. Really would like to thank Woody as well for posting this picture as you can see in the clip. They posted it right there saying that they copped from Argos right when we were watching the whole stream. And then after that, people realized that this was legit, this wasn't a joke, and people started taking it seriously. And then throughout the night, we have loads of other regional drops. We didn't stay up all night, but we stayed whilst the first drops happened, London happened. So really happy with the Argos drop as well, guys. Again, thrill and agony. Some people lost, some people won, but what can you do? That's what happens in the PS5 drop game, and we're here for it. We're here for everything. Guys, now that you've seen what happened with game and Argos, let's talk about what's next. Stores these few days, well, there's only a few days left. It's Thursday and Friday. Let's just talk about these two days, what could happen. Something to keep in mind, stay alert. You never know what could happen. Like today, for instance, we had a drop from Asda. Asda dropped, one that no one probably was watching. I wasn't watching Asda myself, to be honest, because they go out really quickly and there's less chance of copying them as well. But do let me know, guys, in the comments if you cop from Asda, if you cop from Argos, if you cop from Game, please let us know in the comments. We really want to know and see who's copped, who still hasn't copped. Please just put it in the comments. That way we know how many people have PS5, so how many people don't have PS5. So please let us know. So guys, now next, what you need to keep an eye on are Very and John Lewis. These two stores, for sure, you never know, it could drop Friday. Over the weekend, Sunday or Saturday, we'll do another video where we talk about the week coming, what's where the stores you need to watch out then. We'll have more specific dates and times for you. But just in case, ad hoc drops, these two I would say Very and John Lewis for sure. As per PS5 Stock Alert UK, Very hasn't dropped a PS5 in 64 days, guys. 64 days. That's more than two months, you know, so they must be dropping soon. I mean, 64 days is a very dry spell. I, I hope they drop soon. I hope they're next on the list. But yeah, guys, John Lewis and Very, please keep an eye out. If it doesn't drop tomorrow or today, it won't drop over the weekend. As you know, there's no drops over the weekend. So then we can talk about the next week's drops in another video. But yeah, I thought I'd alert you to these two stores at least. I'd also like to thank our champion level patrons, Cosmic Man, K McGay, Kyle Cooper, Stay Positive YT and Box Play Loop. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, guys. And so guys, a big week for us, as I said, a lot of things came true, a lot of our news, things that we told you on our videos came true. So I'm really happy about that. I would have been a bit sad if all that I told you and none of it would have come true. It would have been quite annoying. But I'm glad that Argos drop. I'm glad that game drop. And I'm really, really glad, guys, that you guys managed to cop your PS5 and are enjoying the games now. You can join our PS5 club now, as they say. We can talk about games. You can see our live streams, join in the chat. So hopefully you can stick with our community. We have gaming streams, lots of things planned going forwards once this whole PS5 restock thing dies down. We've started making other videos as well, but I'll keep making new videos, gameplay videos. And with that said, guys, as I always say, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you again. Bye, guys.